Hey guys, Griffin back from the Retro Rebellion, and uh, if you can't tell, I'm going to be doing another tutorial. So, uh, today we're going to be switching out our regular original Xbox hard drive with uh, a new larger hard drive. This one happens to be a Western Digital 80GB uh, model that I had gotten out of a TiVo. Um, then reformat it. So, other than the Xbox and your new hard drive, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a Torx 20-bit. I got this at um, Home Depot. It's actually T15 is the biggest it goes, but it works fine for taking out these screws. So you're going to need T15 to actually get the screws out of the bottom of the Xbox. Um, and there actually are two security, two hidden screws. There's one right under this foil and right, one right under here. Um, so to take this out, you're going to need to keep that in mind. So... Basically, other than that, uh, you're going to need some basic uh, files that you can run with any soft-bodied Xbox. So, I'm going to put those in the description down below. And so, basically, let's just get started with this. You're also going to need a different bit, a T9 or T10. It would both work, I'm guessing. Okay, sorry about that. But, anyway, uh, you're actually not going to need any other sort of screws other than the Torx to get it open. Um, you, all you need is to have access to the DVD drive, but you are going to need to have some sort of power source to power your, uh, other hard drive while you are, uh, going to be formatting it and such. So, I'm just using this standard, really cheapo, extra Diablo Tech power supply that I have lying around, PC power supply, and if you take a look at the 24 pin, or, uh, 20 pin in this case, connector that would con uh, normally connect to the motherboard, I have shorted two pins together, which is the green wire and just to a ground, and now I can just boot the hard drive normally, and that works just fine. So, I'm going to show you on the TV what's going on, and maybe switch between TV and Xbox so you can see uh, what I'm changing during the process. So now I'm booting up the Xbox, and I'm using just a um, standard first-party controller. Uh, this is the Unleash X dashboard for the Xbox. Um, so we're going to need a first-party wired controller, because sometimes the software can get a little bit weird when you're using uh, the third-party or wireless controllers. So I FTP'd over onto this Xbox. Um, some files, uh, which will be in the description with the text installation, and you just want to go, going to want to go to XROMO, which you will have copied into your apps folder, um, run the default .xpe file, and it will start up some Linux that's going on. Okay, so this is my Xbox, this is my new hard drive. I have a piece of paper under here because I don't want to short out a good static charge or whatever from the carpet. So, on this what you're going to want to do is disconnect your DVD drive and plug in your new hard drive through IDE. And then, in my case, I'm using a just regular PC hard drive and I'm going to flip the switch to turn it on. Back to the TV, going to select Fat X with the controller. Um, boot Chimp 480p or whatever. That's what my TV runs in. And it says it will be loading. Press 1 to activate the console. You're going to want to press A to scan for physical devices. AD, slash ADA is your standard Xbox hard drive. Slash AD, HDB is your new hard drive that you have plugged in. And yeah, that just gives all the information. So next you run a clone to Master to Slave. That's another thing you're going to want to have done is have your new hard drive selected as Slave. So select Clone from Master to Slave.
So this screen is basically just asking you, or telling you, that it's going to reformat the disk to a different format, which is uh, FAT32, or FAT, FAT X, something that's specific to the Xbox. Um, so it's basically just telling you that it's going to um, reformat this hard drive and copy all your information over. So you're just going to want to click Yes. Then you're going to want to select full disk. Then it doesn't matter. This is, um, you could choose either. Here, let me just zoom in so you can see what it says. So you can either do it with no progress bar and it will get done faster, or you can do it showing progress done, and um, but the progress will be much slower. But in my case, I'm going to click... Uh, show progress bar and then fast forward so you could see the progress being done So now it's done. Now you, what you're going to want to do is click this button, lock slave drive. And then you're going to want to select the first option from motherboard. Yes, and scroll down to shut down. Rest it down for now, and if you boot, look, and now I have my new uh, eighty gigabyte hard drive, or. Uh, 68,000 megabyte, yeah, whatever, 68,000 megabyte hard drive on my new Xbox. So, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you would like to know anything more about this, please drop some question or comment in the comments section. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.